I think you guys need to be more transparent when it comes to foxes. <laughs> I think you need to tell the world that you have foxes wandering your street. It, <laughs> like, don't let us just find out on the street while minding. <laughs> I think it should be a thing that you talk about casually. We have the queen, London Eye. Oh yeah, foxes for days, foxes. <laughs> Because I was walking through Shoreditch High Street, right? Shoreditch High Street, first world London. What did I see? Fox. But not a fox running away from traffic. The most confident fox I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. This fox was investigating a crime. Like, that's how confident. <laughs> you know when the fox is like, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm joking. I was in Blackpool, right? And I was doing some shows in Blackpool, and there was a white woman cleaning my room my hotel room. Now you must understand, I grew up in apartheid South Africa. I grew up in a very unequal society. So this for me was never experienced this in my life. There was a white woman cleaning my, oh, I was throwing shit on the floor while she was cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> she was confused, why would you do that? I said, I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't know if this is ever going to happen again. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible, so... <laughs> I was taking pictures. Click. <laughs> Sending it to the family WhatsApp group. <laughs> Everyone's like, you are doing well, my boy. You are doing very well. <laughs> up so much in the world that your racism is like you have another level of racism like we have like you know like your the racism you guys discuss and talk about is like that nuance mm, is, it, is it i grew up during apartheid south africa our racism was very very clear <laughs> you know what i mean it wasn't like subtle there's a gray area it's like why can't we go to the beach because there's a sign that says no blacks allowed i don't understand what I mean. <laughs> you know what i mean very straightforward racism. I like it. Top of the range. Top shelf shit, man. Not like, <laughs> this nonsense that I'm experiencing in London. Oh, I'm not Japanese. I'm from Taiwan. Bah, bah, bah. Listen, I'm... <laughs> I don't live here. I'm confused. Leave me alone. I'm not used to that racism. I'm used to that top range stuff, man. And here's the thing, I don't know how to navigate myself through London because it's so multicultural. I don't know who's gonna get offended. I don't know who's, you know, I, I just don't know, you know? But I did find that when it comes to gingers, it's open game. Anyone can, <laughs> no one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. No one, <laughs> no one cares about gingers. Like, you could kill a ginger. You know that, you could kill a ginger. And you would get to the judge and be like, what happened? I killed a ginger. The judge was like, yeah, but it's a ginger. I mean, what? What do they expect you to do? Not kill them. Kill the ginger. Why would you not kill it? <laughs> I went to Blackpool. It's a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I was in Blackpool, right? And I was doing some shows in Blackpool, and there was a white woman cleaning my room, my hotel room. Now, you must understand, I grew up in apartheid South Africa. I grew up in a very unequal society. So this, for me, was never experienced this in my life. There was a white woman cleaning my, oh, I was throwing shit on the floor while she was cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> she was confused, why would you do that? I said, I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't know if this is ever going to happen again. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible, so. <laughs> I was taking pictures. So I was having an interaction with like this homeless dude, right? And he was, you know, begging for money. And I took out uh, $5 and I, I gave him $5. He looked at me and we're having a conversation. We're having this moment where we talk, he's telling me about his life story. His parents were abusive. He ran away from home, got hooked on drugs. And he looks at me and he goes, hey, man, tell me more about yourself. Where are you from? I said, I'm from South Africa. He said, where about in Africa is that? I said, in the South, as suggested. <laughs> I suggested on the title, on the title of the... <laughs> so 
So he looks at me, he goes, oh, you, you, you from Africa? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm from Africa. He says, did you feel like from Af Africa? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm from Africa. And then he, then he gave me my $5 back. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine, okay? Like, he was like, <laughs> he just looked at me like, no, you know what, just take your money. My whiteness will sort this out, don't worry. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I told this to my friend, and my friend was like, that's such an offensive thing to happen to you. And I said, no, that was a special moment because this dude was aware of, of his privilege as a white dude. He was fully aware. He was like, listen, this is a fucked up situation, but trust me, I do not want to be African. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? And it was a beautiful thing, and it's such a hard thing to understand, so I appreciate that dude, right? And, and here's the thing. I'm going to try to explain what white privilege is in, room, in a room full of white people. <laughs> so wish me luck. This, this is what white privilege is. White privilege is starting a band with your friends and calling it the killers, and everyone goes, yeah, that's a great name. <laughs> <laughs> you know very well there's no black band that will call themselves the killers. Forget about it. Forget about it. When black people come up with a band, they have to think outside the box. What are we going to call ourselves? Earth, Wind, and Fire. What does that even mean? It means we're not the killers. That's what it means. Interesting here. One thing I had to learn in 2020, or unlearn in 2020, is this idea that America is the greatest country in the world. <laughs> they are trying shame, man. <laughs> top 50 at best. Top 50 up there with Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, Malawi. You know they're in, in competition. In competition. No, no. I mean. Now they've got Biden, but we didn't forget Trump. Huh? There was a whole full Trump.